Chris, there's a long list of supplements that you're allowed to take. There's probably a greater list of things you're not allowed to take under the rules of Major League Baseball's drug policy. All of the supplements that you use, particularly in the off season, are they certified? Are they given to you by the club? Every supplement that I took this off season was sent to me from our strength team, from our trainers, because that's the only way I can ensure that I'm getting products that I know, I know, have to have gone through the process. That's why I, I don't, I don't take those kind of risks. Like I don't, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it to do that, you know? You're going to face a lot of public criticism. You're gonna have people who are gonna say, Chris Colabello is a cheat. Scary thought. He said he was innocent, but he's lying. What do you say to that? People are gonna think whatever they want, no matter what I say, no matter what I do. At this point, there's no, there's no motivational lie. Like the suspensions, it's happening, it's already there. I would never, have never, will never compromise the integrity of baseball, ever, in my life. And whether that means taking a performance-enhancing supplement, I just wouldn't do it. I, I don't do it. I, I haven't done it. I won't do it. It's not, the game is so much bigger than that. Like the game is so much better than that. The purity of it, like I, so to think that I'm being told that I've literally compromised the game in the worst way possible in people's eyes now, in the court of public opinion now, I think this is literally what people think is the worst way to cheat the game of baseball. It. When I was 20 years old and I was hoping to get drafted, I watched people do it then. I was like, I can't go to sleep at night if I do that. I can't, I can't look at myself in the mirror as a man and say that that's okay. When I was 23 in independent ball and I'm watching guys get signed, picked up, guys in the big leagues, you know, 2006, 2007, whatever, and I, I would watch the game, and I would hear about stuff. And I, again, I, it was never my place to pass judgment on anyone until I was informed. And I said, I can't, I can't, I won't. It's not worth it. I had conversations about it my whole life. As I got into my sixth and seventh year indie ball, it's not worth it. I played the first four years of my affiliated career. It's definitely not worth it now. I'm here. I got there, I did it. Passed 19 or 20 drug tests in the last four years. And now I'm, <laughs> I'm finally a major leaguer. Like, I'm, I'm finally a major leaguer. I'm a guy who, I'm gonna start the year on the big league roster next year, short of, you know, anything going crazy. I'll do it now. Does that make any sense? Anybody that thinks it does is probably somebody that wants to call me a cheater anyway or questioned me before. 